The Grand Rapids Festival of the Arts is celebrating its 50th anniversary. I'm so excited. That's happening this weekend, and this year, Perrin Brewery has a special connection to it. So Lindsay from the brewery and David, the festival director, here to talk about some of the really cool things happening this year. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And Absolutely. This Thanks lovely for having beer. Us. I can't drink, but I can look at it, and it smells really good. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So tell me about the partnership between, you two, uh, between the two. Absolutely. I mean, it was a really seamless opportunity when they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. So yeah. what better way to celebrate than with a pint in hand? Uh, so oh, I know, right? Exactly. You're in the USA. Exactly. exactly. And with that yeah. weather, you're going to be wanting drinking a lot yes. of these pints. Um, mm -hmm. So we were really inspired um, by the red sculpture that's placed in Calder Plaza. So oh, we created okay. an amber ale, um, very beautiful in that red hue, rich color, an approachable beer for any festival goer. Um, they can enjoy the beer anywhere in neighboring restaurants and bars right down in the festival area. I absolutely love it. Uh, does it have a name? Amber of the Arts. Amber of the Arts. I love that. Okay, so you were talking about the locations. Yep, oh, yeah, there's several yeah. neighboring locations. Uchello's yeah. is going to be kind of our hub beer spot. Okay. Um, they have a beautiful patio right in front of there. So head on down there. Enjoy Amber of the Arts fresh on tap. Okay, let's talk about some of the benefits, really, between the partnership. The, uh, you know, it is a great opportunity, as you said. We're yeah. Beer City USA, and uh, the uh, Klopsik family has been a huge investor in this community, and Connor Klopsik is the one that we approached uh, to be a part of doing this and, and wanted Perrin to have that opportunity to uh, do something that was unique and different yeah. uh, for festival. We've never had a beer tent, and so a lot of people said, please have a beer tent. I'm and sure we they thought, did, well, yeah. No. We wanted to find a way to partner with local bars and restaurants downtown so that people would go into them, as opposed to us offering beer and and not encouraging people to go into the places that are already set up oh, yeah, absolutely. downtown. David, question for you, since this is the 50th anniversary. Sure. What does that mean for you? I mean, this is huge. I love it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, you know, uh, as many people say that, you know, is 50 too old or is 50 too young? And, and we're, as far as we're concerned, well, 50 is 50 is a new 40, right? 50 is a new 40, is a new 30, this is a new 20. That uh, we've always been an evolving organization and every year it gets a little bit different, a little bit uh, more exciting. Uh, mm -hmm. that we have all the stuff that's been there since the beginning, all the kids' activities. Uh, we have 10 stages this year. We have a regional arts exhibition that has 367 pieces of art in it. Uh, we have uh, a karaoke booth sponsored oh, nice. by WGVU. Uh, we have uh, so many things that people can get involved in. And it really is all the way uh, from strollers to retired folks that we are open for everybody. Something it is for all for ages. All. Absolutely. Everyone in the family. I'm so excited because I've only been here in West Michigan for a couple months now. So I'm really excited to check out my first oh, festival. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. And we do have all the information, by the way, listed up on our website. Just head to 13onyourside.com. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank, thank you, you very Stick much. Stick around. We'll be right Cheers. back.